Hey there, everybody. Welcome to another THW News and Rumors Rundown with the NHL. My name is Jim Parsons. I'm here with TheHockeyRaiders.com. It is draft day. Happy draft day, everybody. It's the first round tonight for the NHL, and we've got lots of stuff happening prior to the first pick being selected, potentially by the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, lots of trades, some signings, all sorts of things going on here right now that we're going to be talking about. Uh, so let's get right into it. If you want to follow us on Twitter, you can do so at TheHockeyRaider, Facebook.com slash TheHockeyRaiders, the YouTube channel, obviously. TheHockeyRaiders.com will have all of your draft picks and selections as they come through, and uh, we'll keep you up to date on everything else that's going on with the news and rumors. So let's get into what's happened already today on Friday. The New York Rangers and Colorado Avalanche made a massive trade. Alexander Gurgiev, uh Goaltender for the Rangers has moved to Colorado for a number of draft picks. Basically, what's happened here is that Darcy Kemper uh, has not really been or isn't in Colorado's long-term plans. They figure that he's going to be too expensive on the free agent market for them to continue to use him as their starter. They're going to go with Francis and Georgiev as a pairing now in Colorado. Uh, gave up a couple third-round picks, a fifth-round pick. Um, lots of good stuff going back to the Rangers. Rangers were moving Alexander Georgiev with Igor Shesterkin's uh, play this season. There was no real reason to keep Georgiev if the return was there, and Chris Jury made a nice trade for the Rangers. So uh, Colorado does not have a pick for a very long time in the 2022 draft. They are all in this season. Uh, they are going to let Darcy Kemper go to free agency, and they're going to get Georgiev in goal here. Uh, that leads to more speculation about what the free agent market is going to look like and news that maybe Marc-Andre Fleury had signed a one-year deal in Minnesota. That is not accurate. He has not signed a one-year contract extension with the Wild. But that doesn't mean it's out of the question. It just means now that he is potentially going to hit the market if he doesn't sign in Minnesota. And that's going to put Kemper, uh, Marc-Andre Fleury, uh, Jack Campbell, other people on the free agent market. So going to be an interesting rotation between teams that need a goaltender New York or excuse me New Jersey Edmonton Oilers Toronto Maple Leafs uh, Pittsburgh doesn't really need anybody now because they've signed Casey to Smith uh, Buffalo Sabres are looking for somebody and they were rumored to be in on Matt Murray but he stuck to his no trade list and kind of kibosh that trade so uh, we'll see what happens here with Flurry. could he sign in Minnesota yes will he likely hit the free agent market probably that's what we're looking at but one person who did sign was Chris Letang. He upped for six more years in Pittsburgh on an extension uh, worth just over $6 million a season. Now, it was rumored going into this that he wanted to sign a five-year deal. Pittsburgh wanted him to do a three-year deal. So how do you get to six years? Well, the cap hits the big thing here. Uh, they're going to give him the turn, let him retire as a Pittsburgh Penguins player. But they caught the they got the annual average salary down by going that sixth year. Um, it's going to be more favorable for them we'll see how this turns out long term could be a great deal up front could be not so great a deal at the end but you never know with LTIR and how all that works at the end of these contracts what that's going to look like there is news coming out of Chicago today lots of buzz around the Blackhawks about whether or not Alex Brickett's going to be moved and maybe Kirby Doc's going to be moved let's start with the Brinkett. there was speculation that the Chicago Blackhawks were looking to actively trade him and that continues today there's talk that they are trying to get a high first round pick there was some speculation that Philadelphia Flyers were in on this in the fifth pick, but that's not really all that accurate. Yes, there were conversations, but those conversations didn't go very far. New Jersey is going to be a team to watch here. Will they move the number two overall pick today? We'll see. If this trade's going to get done, it's probably getting done today, to be honest with you, because Debrinkit's going to be a first-round pick here, and uh, that's a couple teams that are out of there if the picks are made, so we'll see. But with Kirby Doc, there's also talk that maybe Chicago's looking at moving him uh talks have heated up today and speculation of the top 15 is going to get going to be what it takes to get the chicago blackhawks to seriously consider this uh doc's been kind of underwhelming as a blackhawk he's got a huge ceiling lots of potential but just hasn't really performed due in part to injuries um we'll see will chicago move him that'd be interesting if they move both the brinkett and doc today uh that'd be something else for chicago really really speeding up their rebuild and then that would lead to questions, well, what would someone like Patrick Kane do? So uh, we'll keep our eyes on that situation, too. Don't forget, check out thehockeyraiders.com for everything else. Enjoy draft day round one, and uh, we'll see what your team selects. Talk to you guys soon.